Hi, today we study the triangle and its properties. As you know, triangle consists of three angles. That is the reason we have the word triangle meaning three angles. If you see this figure here, you have got three angles A, B and C. And a triangle should also have be a closed figure. If you see this figure, there is no opening. It is closed and it has got three sides AB, BC and CA. So a triangle consists of three angles, three sides and must necessarily be a closed figure. Meaning, there should not be any opening. To get into the triangle, you have to break the triangle. Okay? Okay, good. Very good. Now, based on the sides, let us classify the triangle. Based on the sides and then the angles. Based on sides, we know that a scalene triangle is a triangle in which no three sides are equal, meaning all the three sides are different. That is, AB is not equal to BC, which is not equal to CA, and AB is also not equal to CA or AC meaning all the three sides are unequal. So if AV is 5, BC can be 10, CA can be something else. It cannot be either of these sides. An isosceles triangle is one in which at least two sides are equal. I am saying, repeating again, at least two sides are equal in an isosceles triangle. Meaning, if ABC is an isosceles triangle, AB can be equal to AC or AB can be equal to BC or Either of, either of this. Okay. So, either AB is equal to AC or AB is equal to BC. If any two sides are equal in a triangle, then it is called an isosceles triangle. When you have all the three sides equal, it is called an equilateral triangle. Meaning equi, meaning equal. See here, it is equi, equilateral triangle. Meaning all the three sides are equal. Now you know that a sum of angles of a triangle, meaning angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. How many degrees? 180 degrees. So, angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. But in the case of an equilateral triangle, all the angles are equal meaning angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C. If I take angle A as equal to X then I have X plus X plus X. How many X do I have? I have X plus X plus X equal to 3X. Now 3x is equal to 
180 degrees. How many? 3x is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, we have 3x equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, x equal to what will we get x equal to what will be x equal to x will be equal to 180 divided by 3 which will be equal to 60 degrees because 180 divided by 3 means 60 degrees therefore an equilateral triangle has each angle equal to 60 degrees okay so what do we see here the x equal to 180 degrees x is equal to 180 divided by 3 because we are dividing on both the sides LHS and RHS by 3 so here 3 and 3 will get cancelled we will have only x and on the RHS we have 180 divided by 3 or we can say by transposing what, what are we doing we are transposing 3 to the RHS so what sign do you have here 3x means you have 3 multiplied by x so multiplication what is the opposite of multiplication opposite of multiplication is division so we have division here and 3 comes below 3 on top here comes below here so x is equal to 180 divided by 3 which is equal to 60 degrees ok clear child very good ok now as we see here we have a scaling triangle where all the angles are unequal let us measure can we measure here yes let us measure how much is this this angle is equal to oh I am measuring the length let me measure the angle from here to here how much is the angle angle is equal to oh this is measuring the outside angle let me measure from here to here how much is the angle it is showing it as 110.8 so let me take it as 110 this angle is 110 so this angle will be 180 minus 110 which will be equal to 70 degrees how many degrees 70 degrees now let me measure this angle from here to here how much it is showing 40 point something so this is 70 and this is 40 so let me measure this angle now here to here look now this is 70.03 I thought I got something 70 here let me check this is 70.03 and this is Sixty nine point something. So all the three angles are different. So this is a scaling triangle. Okay. Now let me make this an isosceles triangle. Now we have forty degrees and seventy degrees. What will happen if I make this as seventy degrees? 
have this also as 70 degrees see what has happened to your new triangle it has taken the shape let me see the filled version right jadu appa ne jadu kiya appa ka jadu dekha let me see from the front yes see now this is an isosceles triangle because this both the base angles base means what this is the base the base angles are this and this okay now these both the base angles are equal so that is called a scaling uh, sorry an isosceles triangle let me measure what, what do i want to measure i want to measure the angle okay so this and to this from here to here how much is it it is 70 degrees okay and now to here how much is it oh it is showing here is 40 70 degrees so both the angles are equal and they are both equal to 70 degrees let me measure this angle also how much is this angle from here to here i will flip this this is equal to 40 degrees so 70 plus 70 plus 40 how much does the total come to 70 plus 70 plus 40 total will come to let me open a calculator for my child's sake okay calculator come here 70 plus 70 plus 40 equal to 180 did you see so sum of angles of a triangle is equal to 180 very clear so what did we study we studied about the triangles so with this we come to the end of part 1 next we will go to the second part which is medians of a triangle. Okay. Bye.